So right here we have uh, this is a uh, ARM Cortex A72 Chromebook. It's the fastest ARM processor in the world right now, and running Chrome OS. Right. So this is a uh, MT8173, and it's uh, actually working. Is it uh, complete, or you have a lot of work to do? Oh, we we still have some work to do. We are currently co-working with Google to do in the final to pass the final certification. We believe uh, this machine will be can be manufactured at the uh, next year, the first next next year. And uh, this, this why next year? Why not this year? Because it's uh, Google's tempo. <laughs> ah, because is uh, what do you need to finish before you can release? Uh, first, we need a uh, complete the Google certification, and uh, then the. Uh, we need to go through all of the manufacturing process. Uh, typically, Google will need a certain time to define the spec, final spec with the manufacturers. So, so basically, you have a, you have a, a fast Wi-Fi chip. You need a good Wi-Fi stable. They have all these uh, requirements, right? Uh, like, for example, you need uh, not just the CPU, GPU to be optimized, but also Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything. According yes. to the spec, right? Yes. For this for this machine, we have the uh, quad core. Uh, the big core is a uh, Cortex A72. It's uh, currently the fastest uh, ARM big core, 16 for bit processor. And we also have dual Cortex A53. It can be uh, good. That is very good for low power application. For example, the video playback. So and right now. Uh, uh, this is just a prototype and uh, it says do not touch, but I'm going to touch it anyway, right? So we have uh, multi-tab is okay, yes. and uh, YouTube maybe will work, but it depends, on the, work. It depends on the bandwidth uh, of the Wi-Fi right here. And you have a multi-screen, yes, it's multi working now? It's working now. How can you put this one over here? So, just like the desktop Chrome OS, you, you click the tape, yeah. and... Uh, can you put that one to, to, to this screen? Check to this one. Cool. So this is working of a USB Type C connector. Yes, correct. Right. It's outputting to the other display over right here. I saw it just just before. So you would be the first uh, to provide a USB Type C Chromebook experience. The first uh, USB Type C with um, with the ARM processor. The first one would be Google uh, Google Pixel. That's uh, powered by Intel. Yeah. Uh, I Core Core I. But we don't like Intel, right? Of course. So All right. You can see the full screen. Nice. So uh, this is uh, 1080p 1080p. How does it work? Uh, yes. Secret. Is it 2K? What you can no, do? No, it's uh, 1080p and uh, on the, this is a prototype. So currently it's only uh, HD solution. And uh, for the uh, final wave, for the final product spec, it's depending on the manufacturer. So uh, what else can you say about the, the, the specs right now? This is a uh, USB Type-C, USB Type-C, there's two. Uh, currently it's a pro no, no, it's not USB Type-C, only uh, this one. Only one is USB Type-C. Yes. And uh, prototype, so we USB only three? have we, uh, we have one USB uh, for the final product. We will have two USB Type C with a USB three uh, data transfer display port alternate mode for display and a power delivery to that zero for for external Type C adapter. So uh, fast charge, of course, fast charge through the USB Type, through the USB USB type C. All right. Uh, how, how big a uh, battery? Right now you don't have a battery inside, right? <laughs> uh, yes, for demo purposes. Yeah, yeah. so it will have a big battery, it will be nice 11.6 inch, 13 inch, anything. Yeah, Is a customer will do? It's a customer oriented, but I believe the first uh, the LCD display that can be 11 inch or 13 inch, the resolution can be HD, HD resolution or full HD resolution depending on customer segmentation and the price strategy. So this is the fastest ARM processor today. Yes. So is it also going to be the most expensive or is it going to be a good price? I believe the price would be very... Very competitive? Uh, competitive, competitive. And still powerful, both. Yes, competitive and what powerful. The, what GPU are you using? The GPU use the Imagination uh, GX62. Uh, 6, 60 to 50. So that would be the first Chromebook with imagination, no? Yes, correct. So you have to do a lot of work to 
optimize everything for the GPU. Yes, at the moment. So, so how far are you with this process? Is it already finished or a lot more to do? I think a uh, uh, final step is away from the final yes. round. So we need yeah. to optimize for the CPU, the GPU, and uh, the whole system user experience. Chrome OS needs a lot of optimization. A lot. It's very important to use all the CPU and all the GPU, right? It's not so easy. Um, especially CPU. Chrome OS is uh, demanding much, much, much more CPU performance. It's not just Android device. This is different. Yes, this is that's using that's very, a lot very of optimization. Yes. So, have you done this before in MediaTek, or is the first time you do this kind of work? Um, for Android, for Android world, we also done a lot of optimization on the on our CPU and the GPU. But there is one one big thing different in the Chrome OS is that the Chrome OS needs to be upstream. So we revisit our optimization approach and make it uh, co work with ARM and Google to make it open and. Uh, both uh, optimized, opt optimized for performance. Open? Does that mean this is open already? People can go uh, online and they can find the software or not yet? Par partially. Partially? Yes. So it's on chromium.org slash mediatek. Uh, I believe kernel.org already have MT8173. Alright, so are you good at mediatek to do all the upstream stuff? Or this, as you're saying, this is a new thing also? Um, we already did the upstream before, but this is a totally uh, another level of upstream we have we have to do at this moment. And one cool thing that I've seen that recently is, uh, um, you know, in the apps, uh, Google and uh, is kind of supporting Android apps in Chrome also. Yes. Is that going to be difficult, or is it just going to work? I believe that it's just uh, always running what it should be too. So it's not very special to us. So it's just going to work. And uh, there will be updates forever. You buy a Chromebook, it just continues to be updated yeah. forever, right? Or two years or something. Update forever, that's uh, yeah. Google strategy. And uh, we uh, we have to support it by upstream the driver so that the Google can uh, constantly support uh, update the whole system. I'm just going to say something crazy, and uh, you don't have to answer, right? It would be awesome if there was an Android phone. When you connect to a screen, then it's Chrome OS on the screen, you know? So one phone is two OS. Is that potentially possible or is it impossible? What do you think? Well, that is uh, Google's decision. It, they will decide, of course, but what do I, you I, think? I, I believe there might be in another scenario, one OS, but two kind of uh, launcher behavior. So two kind of, so maybe Android and then a desktop Android mode. Yes. I, it's just that I think Android is better for phone and yes. Chrome OS is better for keyboard and mouse. Yes. So it would be nice if there was both, like MHL, you know, connect MHL and then it's I agree Chrome. That. But that is that impossible, my idea, or is it possible maybe? But I think there is a practical issue now. <laughs> Practical issue. Yeah, it's political issue. Political, po political. but yeah. maybe it's. I don't know. I'm just sorry. I asked you. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, so and and potentially people could put this in a big uh, uh, like all-in-one PCs. It could be desktop, not only laptop, right? Yes, of course. So uh, you know that uh, the, uh, recently uh, Asus announced the Chrome Beat. Yeah. I think that is a, a first step for Chrome OS to um, migrate from the clamshell phone factor to the big screen. Big desktop screen. Behavior. So this CPU uh, is uh, is not too big. It can go inside a, a Chrome bit. Is it uh, is it big or not so big? It's not very big. It it's can go the PCB inside the maybe. Maybe. All right, and a box also as possible, box, and box. inside the screen maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It's up to customer, right? Yes, it's a customer decision. All right, but not inside a phone. That's the wrong market, right? Mm. Phone, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not, okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. So I'm not gonna touch because I do not touch, but I'm still gonna just a little bit. So the, the, the mouse is over here. I can just click. Oh, I shouldn't play an Intel video. Okay. Alright. So um, that's cool. I expect the Chrome, Chrome OS market to be uh, really, really big. So uh, that's really awesome to see this right here at Computex 2015. All right. So um, right now, are you you launching? Are you actually running Chromium OS? Uh, you know, Chromium means open, but we cover with Google. That means we want it to be Google uh, Chrome OS, not Chromium. 
So uh, th when the collaboration is there and it's already certified, then it's Chrome OS. But yeah. right now you're working with Chromium, right? No, no, we work with Chrome, ah, Chrome OS. Okay, cool.